Welcome back to Design Smith. Today we're going to be continuing my dream concert series, and I always wanted to see Janet Jackson on her Rhythm Nation tour. Before we get started, please consider subscribing to support the channel. All right, so I never actually got to see this tour. I was probably six years old at this point, and I have no idea what any of the posters or the advertising look like, so I'm just going to wing it. This poster is going to be designed around the Rhythm Nation outfit, so I'm going to find an image here, and this one is a really good one. So we'll just kind of base it around this image right here. So I'm going to drop this image into Photoshop, and I'm just going to enlarge it to about right up here or so. It doesn't have to take up the entire poster, but I just want to get a couple of things set up here. I want to cut off this side because I want to do my own type. Let's bring this in just a little bit more and cut right there. And what I think I'll do here is I'll set up a guide layout for this photo to exist in. So we're gonna go up to View, Guides, and New Guide Layout. And we'll do one and a half margins on all sides. And hit OK. Now we'll bring this image back up. And I'm gonna to go to my rectangle tool. You can hit U on your keyboard to activate that. I'm gonna draw a rectangle right here that, that's perfectly within the bounds of that guide layout that we created. And now let's move this image up here to the top. And now I'm gonna select both of these layers and hold Option on Mac or Alt on Windows and click in between that. And now that photo is now bound to that guide layout. And now I'm gonna select the background layer and then create a new fill layer and we'll do solid color. And I'm not gonna make this 100% black. I'm gonna bring this up to about a 10 and hit OK. This photo already has some grain built into it, but I'm gonna add a little bit of extra grain so that it can also apply to the background and have a nice even application across everything. So we're gonna create a new layer. And I'm gonna type in grain and we're gonna hit shift and delete and fill it with 50% gray and hit OK. And go over here to filter, camera raw filter. And I'm gonna turn up the grain all the way to 100 and for the roughness, probably around 60. And I'll do a really soft vignette of negative 10 and hit OK. And now we'll just change this blending mode from normal to overlay. And let's zoom all the way in. And you can see it's kind of helping to mask those patterns that were there. And it's also helping the rest of the background to have a layer of grain as well. And because these edges are really sharp, we're gonna go over here to the rectangle and go to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. And we'll convert to Smart Object. And then we'll do something like two pixels. And it really helps to soften it up and it looks like it's blending in with the rest of the paper. All right, so now we just need to add some type and I think we're just gonna do it right here in the bottom left and the bottom right corners. So I'm gonna switch over to Illustrator for the type and I'm gonna drag some guides in here that matches the same guide layout that we did in Photoshop. Okay, so we have this same guide layout and now we can go up here to View, Guides, and Lock Guides. Okay, so I went ahead and grabbed the album cover because I wanna match the type as close as we can. And it looks like what they are using here is a condensed version of Times New Roman. So we'll just kind of map this on top of here and then we'll scale this down. And then all we have to do is go over here to the horizontal scale and it looks like it was right at 72%. And hopefully it's the same with the title as well. If not, we can always make adjustments. And I'm gonna do this one word at a time instead of both lines at the same time. So let's scale this up right here and let's bring this up to the top. And I wanna be as precise as possible. So let's lay this right here. All right, that's looking good. The kerning on this M is just a little bit off. So we'll just move this right here. And now we can copy this down here and then type in the word nation. And it looks like the scaling on this is different from the scaling up there. So let's make that adjustment. Looking good. And then let's fix the kerning here. Just kind of move this over just a touch. And then just make these little adjustments here. I'm not too worried about making it exactly perfect, but I want to get it as close as possible. All right, and now we'll do the same thing with 1814. Still have no idea what that number means. If anybody knows, let me know. All right, so we'll set the baseline there and we'll get the height as close as we can. And the scaling is probably about 90% or maybe even 100%, but we need to adjust the tracking on this. So let's do that. And as you can see, it's pretty high. Okay, that's looking good there. And we will just kind of make some adjustments here to map this exactly where the original was. All right, looking good. So now that we have the format of how everything was laid down, we can make a couple adjustments. I'm gonna change 1814 to tour. And we'll align this to the right side. We'll say world tour. So let's just make this adjustment here and bring this up to about here. That looks good right there. 
And let's take a look at this poster and just kind of see how everything will map there. I'm not too worried about getting this placement exact in Illustrator. We'll figure that out when we get over into Photoshop. And at the time that this album came out, it would have taken place at Starwood Amphitheater, which is where I lived at the time. And so what we're going to do here is we're going to match the same typography here with these down here. And let's copy this word over here. We can get rid of these and then we can just put the date down here. You kind of have to imagine these posters as a template. This definitely would have been the case with a tour this big at this time period. Okay, so I looked this up. Apparently she didn't come to Nashville, but on March 7th, she came to Knoxville, and then March 9th, she went to Louisville, Kentucky. So we'll say that this happened on March 8th of 1990. So March 8th, 1990. And then up here at the top, we'll just kind of match the same thing and say Nashville. All right, that's looking good. I wanna see what happens if we align everything to the right. Yep, that works really well. The only thing I might do here is scale this up just a little bit, and we'll see what happens when we copy everything over to Photoshop. So let's do that, copy, and we're in Photoshop now, so we're gonna paste as a smart object. And we have some weird stuff happening here. That's because this text is beneath the clipping mask. So let's move this on top, and there all of our problems go away. Okay, so we're gonna bring this down here and I'm just gonna hold shift on my keyboard and just kind of move it over and I'm just gonna hit up 10 times. All right, that looks good. And what we're gonna do now is double click on this layer and select color overlay. And we're gonna bring this up to white and then bring the black level down to 90 and then hit okay. And now we'll bring this text in as well. And now we'll place this in line with that. And then holding down Option or Alt on our keyboard, we'll click on this little effects thing right here and just drag it up to that one. And that will carry over the exact same parameters from the layer below. Okay, this is looking good, but I think what we need to do here, especially in this area, we wanna make sure that the integrity of the text is protected. So I'm gonna double click on this text right here, and we're just gonna add a very subtle outer glow. So let's do this, bring this down to here, and we wanna match that same black level that we had earlier, so we'll bring it up to a 10. And for the spread, we'll keep it a five, and I think the size at 100 will be just fine. And then again, just like we did last time, holding down Option or Alt and click and drag, and we'll apply that same effect to the text on the left. And I just realized that I messed up. Our image actually escaped our clipping mask, so let's put that back inside the clipping mask. And now we can make the adjustment to the text and get it back to where it was supposed to be. There we go, looking much better. All right, so here it is, our Janet Jackson's Rhythm Nation World Tour Nashville show that did not happen at Starwood Amphitheater on March 8th, 1990. This would have been an awesome show to see. I've heard nothing but incredible things about this tour. I really wish that I could have been part of it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I taught you something in Illustrator or Photoshop today. Please consider subscribing to support the channel, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.